Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're finally getting to cover the now notorious Linda Sarsour, whose last name quite literally translates into cockroach in Arabic. How fitting! This Muslim apologist has been crawling on the ground and stirring up dirt for almost a year now. And like a cockroach, she always seems to survive no matter what the controversy. Sarsour just won't go away. But before we get to today's story of Linda making the ridiculous claim that CNN's Jake Tapper is an alt-right white nationalist, let's do a quick Quick backstory about Sarsour. Assalamu alaikum, may peace be upon you, brothers and sisters. I stand here before you, unapologetically Muslim American, unapologetically Palestinian American, unapologetically from Brooklyn, New York. Linda Sarsour rose to prominence as a leader of the Women's March back in January. Remember that bullshit anti-Trump protest that was masquerading as a women's rights thing? Yeah, Linda was one of their intersectional trans multiracial representatives. She's the designated Muslim rep on the far left, basically. Which sounds fine. Representing Muslims is not a bad thing in itself, but the way Sarsour operates is what makes her such a controversial figure. For starters, here's what she calls herself on Twitter, a Palestinian American. American Muslim. Now maybe you can be two of those things at once, Linda, but all three just doesn't work. Linda was born in Brooklyn after all, so I don't see how she's Palestinian and American, and her leading off with Palestinians says a lot. This bitch is just so desperate to connect with her Muslim roots. And you'll quickly see after looking into her a little bit that she doesn't really identify or represent anything that American at all. Being a Muslim itself isn't very American if you ask me, but I digress. I am every Islamophobe's worst nightmare as a woman who is Muslim and empowered and loud and proud and from Brooklyn and Palestinian and I wear a hijab and I run my mouth and I'm on national television and I'm hanging out with you. Since the Women's March, Sarsour has appeared on dozens of news shows and talk shows. She had a horrible series of interviews on the Young Turks, of course, and she even did a talk with Dylan Marin on one of our least favorite channels, Seriously.TV, which totally disappeared like two months ago, by the way. But then, oddly enough, they came back with a weird yoga video this week. Come to think of it, Dot Mike did the same thing too, which is a strange coincidence. Both of the YouTube pages disappeared two months ago, and now they came back with some random video this week. But back to Sarsour. Over the last six months, she's gotten criticized for saying some of the most bullshit stuff ever. Defending Islam's patriarchy, denying their problem with terrorism, and even saying there should be a jihad on President Trump. She even lied and said things like female genital mutilation is not a tenet of Islam. And, spoiler warning guys, if you're in the middle of reading the Quran, FGM is a part of Islam, and it's fucking disgusting. But Linda's cognitive dissonance skills are apparently very strong. She must be a level 10 cog dissonance mage or something. I mean, she kind of does dress like a witch, right? And how else can a Muslim woman in an arranged marriage who denies FGM, how else can she claim to stand with feminists and women's rights? The hypocrisy is strong in this one. She's like the Anakin Skywalker of hypocrisy and feminism. Since the Women's March, a lot has happened, so there is a lot of bullshit to shut down. A lot of bullshit to shut down. Well, great. Um, Linda, are you ready to shut down some bullshit? I am ready. <laughs> now for this week's drama. This week on Twitter, one of Linda's favorite places to race bait and stir shit, well, she called Jake Tapper a member of the alt-right and a white nationalist supremacist or something. But she must say this about everyone who disagrees with her because Tapper's as far from the right as can be. He's a left-wing reporter on CNN for Christ's sake. Or I should say, for Moses' sake. Tapper is Jewish after all. Come to think of it, that's probably one of the reasons this Muslim bitch doesn't like him so much. She has been quoted as saying nothing is more disgusting than the Zionist movement. And don't get me wrong, she may be onto something there. But look, I'll hate on Jews as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to support Hamas and other terrorist groups that advocate for another holocaust. Sisters and brothers, you are what democracy looks like. Sisters and brothers, you are my hope for my community. Next, let's look at the tweet that pissed Sarsour off. Here's what Jake Tapper tweeted yesterday. 
Shakur is a cop killer fugitive in Cuba. This ugly sentiments from Linda Sarsour and Dyke Mart Chicago. Any progressives out there condemning this? And as much as I hate defending anyone connected to CNN, Tapper makes a pretty good point here. It's pretty fucked up that Sarsour and the Women's March in Chicago are trying to honor and defend a convicted cop killer and fugitive who's been on the run in Cuba for decades. Shakur was a Black Panther and virtual domestic terrorist back in her day. She shot a fucking cop in cold blood and fled the United States after she was convicted. And Sarsour and the Women's March want to honor that? Really shows a lot about their character. It also shows that Sarsour is another leftist who's not only anti-cop, she's also pro-terrorism, or at least willing to look the other way. Intersectional feminism is just stupid liberal jargon. Intersectional feminism is the only way to go because women are intersectional human beings. We don't live single-issued lives, so you can't cut me up into 10 pieces and expect me to work on my arm separately than my leg. We, we have to do intersectional feminism, which is why you saw that demonstrated fiercely and clearly at the Women's March on Washington. And how does Linda respond to Jake Tapper? Well, here's her now infamous tweet. At Jake Tapper joins the ranks of the alt-right to target me online. Welcome to the party. Absolutely ridiculous. Goes to show that not only does Linda not know what the fuck she's talking about, but this is the kind of crap that makes her lose all her credibility, if she even has any left. But it doesn't even end there. Sarsour challenged Tapper to please share her evidence of her ugly sentiments. Quote, unapologetically Muslim, unapologetically Palestinian, pro-immigrant, pro-justice, she asked him, ending with just saying, shame. Notice how she doesn't even claim to be American anymore. She's basically a Brooklyn-born girl cosplaying as a Palestinian Muslim at this point, who unsurprisingly squeezes pro-immigrant shit in there. I bet Linda would love to bring more Muslim refugees and start more Arab Sharia law practicing neighborhoods and cities in the U.S. People like Linda won't be happy until this whole goddamn country is Muslim. Muslim. And I know people don't normally entertain that possibility, but that shit fucking happens all the time throughout history. The Moors took over Spain in the 700s. Iran had a promising capitalistic secular future until Islam violently took over in 1979. Hell, England is going through a virtual Muslim takeover right now. London has more terrorist attacks than ever and more Sharia run neighborhoods than some Muslim countries. Sisters and brothers, it's been 16, almost 17 years since the horrific attacks of 9-11. And we still as a community find ourselves unprepared in so many moments. Why, sisters and brothers, why are we so unprepared? Why are we so afraid of this administration and the potential chaos that they will ensue on our community? And we already saw their potential when they come out every few weeks, Muslim ban one, Muslim ban two, Muslim ban three. But let's get back to the Twitter beef because Tapper's final response really finishes Sarsour off. Tapper responded by pointing out comments Sarsour made about activist Ayin Hirsi Ali who frequently speaks out against radical Islam. Ali is a reformed Muslim who actively speaks out against it, and Sarsour doesn't take too kindly to people criticizing her death cult. In the past, Sarsour expressed her desire to take Ali's vagina away, saying she doesn't deserve to be a woman. Ali is a survivor of female genital mutilation, by the way, and has spoken out against this brutal practice. So yeah, Sarsour really doesn't have a leg to stand on anymore. First she was called out for honoring a cop killer and fugitive, and now she was countered with her sex sexist and inexcusable comments against her C. Ali, basically mocking her forced female genital mutilation. Simply disgusting. Linda Sarsour is one of the worst when it comes to Muslim apologists, and she's also just the worst kind of person. She's mean, ugly, aggressive, and can't help but to make things all about her. A virtual sociopath who's been given far too big a platform to stroke her ego. I really hope this new drama will wake more people up to how horrible and deceitful she really is. What do you guys think? Is Linda Sarsour a walking talk human cockroach? Is Jake Tapper part of the alt-right now? And why the fuck does the Women's March want to defend and honor a cop killer and fugitive? Comment below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time. And don't forget, this show is funded and supported by viewers like you. Like, comment, and subscribe for new videos every week. Hit that bell button below to get email notifications of our new uploads. We also have merchandise such as shirts, sweaters, stickers, and coffee mugs in our Teespring store. Join our Patreon to support monthly for as low as $1. 
similar. You can get bonus videos and all kinds of cool stuff. There's also Amazon affiliate links and all of our other links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and supporting. One more thing, I want to give a special thanks to these amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. You guys went above and beyond the rest and I love you so much for it. If anyone else wants to donate or join our Patreon crew, link in the description. We're going to be setting up more videos and live streams very soon. Thanks again. Hello guys, I am Janet Garcia and I hope you're having a good, good day because today it's a beautiful day and I'm here with Mimi. Look at the Mimi. Oh, Mimi, let's go to the pool.